Uh, good afternoon, all. I was waiting for others. Uh, I still see people are joining, but we have waited enough so we can start. Can someone confirm if uh, you guys are able to hear me well and see my screen? Yes, Sohail. Okay, great. So people are still joining. I'm not sure why uh, today we have less attendance, uh, but let's wait for a minute or so and we can start. But meanwhile, do you guys have any questions, any doubt, anything which you tried, which you could not complete or which you read and did not understand anything? Let's spend the initial five, 10 minutes in uh, recap what we did in last uh, sessions. And if you guys have any uh, questions on that. If you do not have, I, I obviously I have many questions for you guys. Yes, guys, anyone, any questions? You did not try it at all. You tried it and everything worked well. What is it? Yes, no, maybe Afsar Bhai, Ibrahim, Faisal, Harish, Hussain Bhai, Insha, Leo, Mansha, Murtaza, Hamid. Neha, what about you? Did you understand uh, previous lecture sessions? Yes, sorry. Yeah. Satar bhai, what about you? Sorry, I haven't done the practice yet. Subscription is a media. Sorry, Mansa, I couldn't get it. Uh, I guess uh, it's, it's uh, voice is echoing, but uh, I, I guess you said you did not do the actual practical. Is it? Okay. Again, why is that? So, is your subscription over, or you did not get time, or you you stuck somewhere? Subscription is over. So I'm assuming the same for Afsar and Ibrahim also. Can one of you guys, uh, have you all of uh, you uh, taken the subscription already? All three of you? If not, one of you who has not taken, please try to take a new subscription and please uh, complete the practical. Right? If not, then let me know. You're trying to get us a new subscription. Okay. If not, let me know. I'll uh, add you guys somewhere in someone's subscription. Yes, guys. What about others? Any questions? Any technical questions, guys? Other than subscription, did not get time, couldn't do it, office, busy. In some case, any technical questions? Someone tried and got stuck. Uh, Faisal, if you're speaking, I can't hear you. Yes, sir. I haven't tried because I'm okay. busy. I will try today, inshallah. Sure, sure. No, no, no problem. I'm I'm talking about guys, someone who tried and still did not work, got stuck. Anyone? Okay. I'll take as a no. So let's start with the questions now. If you guys don't have any uh, you do not have any questions, I do have few for you. And these are not surprise questions. I have already given it to you in last session. Uh, and I hope you guys have read about it. So what is a shared disk? Who can answer? Hussain, what is a shared disk? Uh, yeah, so it'll be shared disk is a, uh, ultimately the disk which is on cloud and it can be shared between uh, between the other resources. Great, good answer. Uh, the only thing, just for the, your knowledge, it is not only on cl uh, cloud. On premises, pe bhi hota hai. on premises, on premises, on premises, in fact, most of the time, uh, where you use load balancer, wagera, use karta, na, old load balancer, on prem ke. So, there are also such things that your OS is different, and there is a shared disk, hoti hai, mein data hota hai, and that shared disk is connected with multiple computers, three or four computers. So, if something happens to your operating system, Aapka OS down ho jayega, wo PC down ho jayega, but your data jo hai, still intact because it is 
saved in a different disk and that disk is being shared with five or six PCs. So all of yeah. uh, they can access it. Okay. Uh, what is an encrypted disk? Who can explain? Ibrahim? Well, should I try? Yes, please. So uh, basically, encryption disk is a technology through which we can convert the protected information into codes. So it's basically for in, uh, pro, like preventing the unauthorized access to others. Okay. So that uh, like if uh, so that in theft, accidental theft is not there. Mm. Okay. Sorry, so who, who was that? Who was that? Mm -hmm. I see Harish Shweta Shikha. Was it Shikha? Okay. Have you have you I'm joined sorry. from some different ID? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. got it, got it. Fine. Uh Sadarbhai, wait, I have a question for you. Don't don't try this one. Uh so yes, it, it's it's a good one, good answer. Uh one a follow-up question to you, Shikha, again. Uh my disk which I create in Azure, do they have any kind of encryption? When I don't assign any encryption, do they have some sort of encryption? Shika, can you hear me? Uh, so when I got disconnected, can you please repeat that? Yes, the, the question is, if I create a disk in Azure, okay? Let, let's say mm -hmm. it's an extended disk. I already have an operating system. Someone has asked me to uh, add a disk of 200 GB. Now I, I'm sure all of you know how to create a disk, right? Yes. I hope you guys haven't forgotten it. So you go to the portal, you click on the virtual machine, you click on the disk, you click on the create new disk. So that new disk, which is being created, a newly created disk, will that disk have any kind of encryption? Unless I put it, okay, I am putting it uh, manually. That is a different question. I'm saying by default, will it have an encryption or not? Uh, no, by default, it won't have. Okay. Uh, what about you, Satar Bhai? What do you think? Will it have by default? If yes, which, what will it have? If no, what do you think? Will it, will it have it or not? No, until unless we won't give that, uh, it will be not have. Okay. Any, so anyone have thinks it. otherwise, other than Shikha and uh, Satarvai, anyone thinks that it will have an encryption? Is it, please say yes, no, something. I need to know your understanding. What do you think, uh, Neha? Will it have encryption? Neha, can you hear me? Yes, sorry. So can will it have? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. If I create a disk, a newly created disk, will he will will that disk have some sort of encryption or no? Uh, no, it will not. Okay. Unfortunately, guys, all of you are wrong. And I did clear this. I'm sure sure about it. So let let me quickly open this and show you the practical. It's a it's a very small one. Don't, I won't even call it a practical, but just for you guys to remember it very well, we'll do it on the portal. The correct answer is it will have an encryption. Your all disk will have an encryption. The only difference is that that will be a platform managed key. The, the encryption name is PMK, platform managed key, which means you are not creating any key. For, for the encryption. Whenever the encryption is there, there's a key. Key means no password, whatever you can So the moment you create a disk here, here it is. I do not have any disk, right? This is the machine, and I do not have any data disk. OS disk has to be there. Obviously, OS disk is there. So I'm trying to create a new disk. By the way, the disk which you already see, OS disk, does it have any key? Where will you see, by the way, whether a disk has key or not? Encryption. Who's that? Yeah, the answer was correct. Murtaza. Murtaza, I think you do not have sufficient network. Your voice is cracking, but the answer was correct. 
here it is guys the encryption part do you see encryption so if it is blank which means the disk is decrypted which means the disk doesn't have any encryption but here if you see something so it means it has some encryption now this disk while creating this machine i did not select any encryption but still has some encryption just to show it to you or make it clear for you i'll create a new disk here it is learn that's fine disk name whatever client says premium it doesn't matter what storage type you take it doesn't matter what size you take okay here it is 200 gb they asked me to take it so i'm taking it okay do you see do you do do i have an option to remove it no there isn't right though it it is a, a managed key a platform managed key it is known as pmk platform managed key i'll write this question for today's session and sometimes they do ask this question it's, it's very simple to explain very easy to explain but most of the time uh, we forget we tend to forget the name so remember pmk it's your platform managed key okay the other one would be what do you think the full form of this csk obviously not talking about ipl client client managed key. client managed key should be cmk i guess i will see that well when we do that it, it will be csk or client secured key or client managed key sometimes it, it used to happen we'll see that what is it is it CSK or CMK? I think it's CMK nowadays. Let's see. Customer managed key. Okay, so one is PMK, one is CMK. Platform managed key and customer managed key. They may ask you the difference between them. We'll see that later. Uskom dekhte encryption kisme or detail mein. But the primary question here has been answered. You create any disk, it will by default have an encryption, which is a platform managed key encryption. Now, this encryption, how is it going to help me? I'll tell you this encryption kaise help karta hai. Let's say that this disk, now I have attached it to my uh, server, right? Abhi mere server mein disk chali gai, and now it has a lot of data. Those GB mein se, 100 GB is ka full ho gaya, and that is very crucial and important data. And somehow, somehow my uh, account has been hacked or something has been hacked only my azure account okay they are still not able to log into my operating system but hackers have they have hacked my account and somehow they have got uh, access to this disk so what they can do is they can download this disk and they can use it anywhere outside cloud also okay you do get an option to export disk export so the moment you do this I will get an, a URL and using this URL, I can take it outside of Azure and I can uh, you know, convert it to a VHD and try it in my local machine or I can do anything, whatever I want. Say something like this. Now, if I share this link with you, even you will be able to uh, download my disk. Here it is. I directly have an option also. I can download my disk, simple. And now I can take this disk wherever I want. I can take it out of Azure also and I can utilize it. So to prevent this utilization, we have PMK. When the disk is encrypted using PMK, even if the disk is gone beyond uh, uh, Azure, it is not going to work. It will be encrypted. Understood, guys? Uh, Sohil, in this, what was the second option? Here, there is no option. Are you talking about here or the, the second option which I am talking about? While creating, you did not see any second option. There's only one option. Is this the one you're talking about or are you asking about this second option? The one which I talked about CMK. Yeah, yes. Yeah, what about CMK? Yeah, yeah, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. First, is PMK clear? guys? Shikha, we'll come to CMK. Don't worry. But is this clear that why do we have PMK? Platform managed yes. key. Guys, yes, no, maybe. Why, why so much of silence? Are you not getting it? Yes, sir. What about others, guys? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Mr. Kesh? 
Sohil, I again got disconnected. Can you just uh, let me know what was the second option like when you are clicking on this drop down? No, there is no yeah. second option on, under under this drop down. There is no second option. So uh, this one encryption at rest with a platform manage. Yes. Yes. There is no second option as of now here. I'll, I'll show it to you how to get second option, how to get CMK. We'll talk about it. But is this clear as of now? Okay. Yes. Guys, what about others? Yes, sir. Clear. Yes. Okay. So now when we already have a PMK, that you cannot take my disk out of Azure and download and utilize it. Why do you think we require CMK customer managed TA? What did I tell you? This PMK prevents a downloaded disk to be utilized on my physical computer, on my virtual machine, AWS, GCP, anywhere. So why do you think we required a CMK? Okay, let, let, me, let me ask this question to you. Okay, let's say I have downloaded this disk. How many methods are there to use this disk one by one? Yes, guys, how many methods that I can attach it to my uh, virtual machine, physical machine, or, or platforms available? How many methods are there? And I'll tell you whether this PMK will uh, help the, the, the encryption will help or not. How many methods are there? What comes to your mind? Okay, yet somehow you managed to download my disk. Ab aap isko kahan kahan use kar sakte ho? What comes to your mind? On an external hard disk. External hard disk where? Which platform? Obviously, we are talking about VM. external hard disk. VM where? Where are you creating the VM? vCenter? On Azure, on AWS, in, in yeah, yeah, any yeah. cloud. Right. So that is or, that is the difference. That is the difference, guys. If you create it on Azure itself, this PMK, it's not helping you. This PMK, if, if you use this disk on Azure, then it is not encrypted. Agar ye encrypted hai with PMK, so it is as good as not encrypted for Azure. Matlab, aapne ye disk se download kar lina, aur aap isko Azure pe use karna ho, so it is not going to ask you any decryption. Directly use kar sakte ho. But what is it preventing other than Azure? Azure ke bahar aap le jate ho, to wo kaam kar hai. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So to prevent the disk using within Azure also, there we have our customer managed key. This is the key difference you can talk about. There are more difference like uh, PMK will get deleted automatically when your disk is deleted or for that matter, it can be any resource. It, it's not only disk. You can encrypt many, many things, many resources. But as of now, we are just talking about disk. So when it comes to PMK, it will get deleted with your resource. If I delete this disk, then there is no separate PMK for this. Okay. If I delete this disk, ye disk ko agar main delete kar deta hu na, to wo chal, wo PMK mera, uh, mera key jo hai disk ke saath chala, chala so There is no other way that I can preserve that and uh, use it on some other resource. Is it clear for PMK? But for CMK, it is not getting deleted with your resource. You can detach it delete your resource and you can utilize that key again with some other resource. Is it clear guys? Are you getting confused? Uh, Solvay, is it like the bit locker? Exactly. It's not like bit, bit locker itself is an encryption key. Exactly. It's a bit locker, okay. but it's it's Azure's own product. Bit locker is some, some, okay. someone else's product. This is Azure's product. Got it. Exactly like bit locker. Yes, guys, anyone else? A any questions? So for the CMK, is it like a kind of a service or a resource given in Azure? Or is it something else like it is managed in some different way? It is a service of Azure. The service name is Key Vault. We are going to do that. We'll see about it. How to how to utilize that or how to create it. We'll see that. Don't worry about it. Because no one is going to ask okay. you how to create it. The interview question, definitely the interview question will be. What is the differences between them? So you create a vault. 
within a vault you create a key it's just very simple i'm sure all of you will get it how to create it it's it's not a big deal how to create it how to use it it's very simple guys you just have to create a key vault under key vault see you can either import or you can generate a key it, it's simple you don't don't have to do anything you just give the name and your key will be ready here it is i already have some keys you can have keys under vault you can have secrets you can have certificates we'll see that later when we cover key vault all our topic we'll do that but the major question will be the difference between your pmk and cmk they might say platform managed key and customer managed key and they might say pmk and cmk so you should not be blank carry pmk cmk hota kya i don't even know that should not be the case so is it clear to everyone guys yes sir bhai okay let's go back to the questions and i hope you guys uh, downloaded the azure explorer storage explorer did you yeah yes sir okay what is an azure storage account who can explain anyone any one satar bhai you can answer this are you there satar bhai i can't hear you i uh, see you on mute as hmm. storage account it's all about the storage data objects including blobs files shares queues tables and disk a unique uh, namespace for uh, azure storage data that accessible for any from anywhere in the world over http or https are you reading it somewhere from somewhere satar bhai no no sohil bhai good answer then is it's okay i mean two and three times you give it in, a, in in an interview and you'll get the fluency it's good answer obviously you can elaborate it a more however you want but it, it, it this one is sufficient a good start i would say as your storage life cycle management uh, hamid bhai can you answer this Hamid, can you hear me? Priyakant, can you answer this? Priyakant, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay. Who wants to try? as your storage life cycle management can i give it up uh no sir wait let others i'm sure you, your concept is clear on this one uh, uh rishi try one by yeah leo please please yes leo so uh, basically in uh, azure storage life cycle management uh, we have like three tiers hot cool and archive so hot is where uh, Our files or data that is being stored, uh, we are accessing it uh, on a regular basis. And uh, if if we want to, uh, if we enable soft delete, basically for this, and we delete any data, it it's been it, it does not gets deleted permanently. However, it's present uh, within the storage. But then uh, Azure will charge us as per. Uh, as per the clicks as per the amount of time we access it hmm somehow you mix the soft delete and life cycle management policy partially correct let's say i do not have soft delete at all in my storage mm -hmm. account now explain what is life cycle management policy that's okay let's move to the next question guys please uh, work on this yeah. uh redundancy options available in azure storage uh, hussein can you give a detailed brief answer what are the redundancy options available what are those what is the difference between them
I means I know the concept, but uh, actually I cannot remind the. I I know that there are six types, but. Uh, no, can you see name. my screen? Yeah. Can you see my screen? Here it is. Now you can answer. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, redundancy options uh, ultimately the Azure uh, provide within the within its services are uh, LRS, ZRS. Uh, LRS is for the local redundant. Uh, so basically, uh, sorry, uh, can I can I go again? Sorry. Yeah, feel free. Okay. Uh, so ultimately, there are uh, six types of uh, durability options which Azure provides. Uh, ultimately, they are LRS, ZRS, GRS, and uh, I think GZRS. And uh, two are RAGRS and RAGZR. So ultimately, with the local redundant system, it uh, uh, provide redundancy and data durability within a single region by replicating the uh, data which is stored in your storage account in other uh, three zones, having a three replica. So it uh, basically protect against the disk node and rack failure, but uh, it doesn't protect against the region failure. Uh, sorry, a zone failure. Uh, then for the zone redundant, uh, uh, zone redundancy, basically there are three, uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry why? I, I, I'm jumbling it. Mm, that's okay. It. It's, yeah. it's okay, Sen. see, I have been telling you guys, yeah. this is the place to jumble, fumble, make errors, anything. Yeah. Interview is not, right? So. It's completely fine how many times you want to jumble, fumble, whatever you want to do it, guys. It's completely fine. But I want you to speak but because that is how you're going to learn. If you don't speak here, don't expect that you can speak day one, day one, day one, first time. Not, it, it, it never works like that. Never works. No miracle is not happening. If you have read it and read it and read it, it never works. This is the, these are the practice sessions. Though we are going to have more mock calls and everything. Right? But to have mock calls and everything, at least concepts should be clear. So it, it's completely fine. Though the, the, your, uh, you started well, everything is well. I'm sure you try two or three times, you'll be able to answer. Right, guys? So I'm asking you to read it again and again, guys. Look at it and read it. It's okay. Completely fine. You will remember it later. Or at least read it. Mm, what is RTO and RPO? Uh, Neha, can you hear me now? Neha, can you hear me? Rishikesh, would you like to try? What is RTO and RPO? Yeah, uh, RTO is recovery time objective. In which it takes a small amount of time to like backup uh, small data, whereas it takes a large amount of time uh, to to take backup of uh, large files. Is what called as a recovery time objective. Okay. Can I RPO? Yeah, yeah, RPO is recovery point objective. Hmm. And for that, like, I have, means, uh, for this answer, I have used your note, notes and Google too. So, shall I read that? Or, or reading is fine. That is definition. Reading is fine. Okay, reading is fine. Can you elaborate it? Did you understand it? Can you elaborate it? Yeah, what do you I, mean I by this? RPO or RTO, what do you mean by this? Means in in RPO, if we like do back of our data, um, which is which the time the time limit is is twelve twenty four hours you know, once a day, whereas to get a recovery point objective of six hours, uh, in if if we are uh, like recovering data from RPO, we will be needing a time limit of after every six hours. 
to to recover that data that's okay well tried rishi guys but it's it's slightly incorrect okay we don't uh, backup in rpo or rto these are not two separate options these are the parameters that while backing up the data while designing a backup for someone or while implementing it you should know these details wahan pe pucha jayega ki bhai aapka rto kitna hoga now what should you know by rto see being an implementation engineer you will always get these details ki iska rpo itna select karna hai iska rto itna select karna hai you just have to put the numbers and hit next that's all but when you claim that you're working on this from last 4 years 5 years you cannot simply say that yaar mere paas to itna hi aata tha and that's how you I, i used to do it i mean this can be done by a fresher engineering student that i give him everything and he does it he, he does it blindly following the sops right by the book that mm. can be done by a fresher also so though you are saying that i wasn't a decisive authority i used to get these details that what is rto but i rpo but with that you should know what is it and how is work how how, how does it work right you should know that very well that is the reason i am explaining everything otherwise it's simple for you to say that i was a platform engineer we used to get it but you should know so rto is your recovery time objective which means time to recover ki agar mera ek server fail hota hai ek storage account fail hota hai mera to kitna time lagega data ko recover karne mein that is your time to recover okay and what is rpo it's your recovery point objective age of data that if my storage account fails now from what point can i recover it's it's 230 now okay if it fails here kitna data miss ho raha hai mera kahan se main recover kar pa raha hu so i'm saying ke uh, 10 am se recover kar pa raha hu to main 4 hours ka mera loss ho raha hai yahan par right so it depends on the nature of the application now now let's say that there is an application jahan par sirf uh, bidding hota hai right har minute ki ek new bidding ho rahi hai और उसी मिनट में उसका विनर भी अनाउंस हो रहा है किसी उस तरह का कोई वेबसाइट या एप्लीकेशन है समझ लो आप लोग राइट और उस बिडिंग पे वो एप्लीकेशन काफी पैसा कमा रहा है तो पीपल आर लुकिंग एट दैट उस पर जितने लोग एक साथ हैं उतना ज्यादा वो पैसा कमा रहा है एक मिनट में पूरा प्रोसेस खत्म हो जाता है न्यू प्रोसेस शुरू हो रहा है बिडिंग हो रही है कोई जीत रहा है कोई हार रहा है दैट सेट नया प्रोसेस समथिंग लाइक दिस तो इस टाइप का एप्लीकेशन के लिए वॉट डू यू थिंक इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर दैम विल दे फोकस ऑन आर और आर जहां पे कोई पास्ट डेटा का कोई खास वैल्यू नहीं है उनके उनके लिए बट सिस उनका एप्लीकेशन क्विकली अप आना दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर देम सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक दे विल चूज एज अ प्राइमरी ज्यादा वेटेज किसको देंगे आरटीओ को या आरपीओ आरपीओ आरटीओ 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 द फर्स्ट आरटीओ रिकवरी टाइम ऑब्जेक्ट करेक्ट बिंगो नमस्ते Did you understand, guys? Because it, it because it's less latency, it needs quick time, like faster recovery. Yeah, yeah. Of data. Unka application business model is such that they want their application to be uh, up and running quickly. Past data se utna koi khas unka yeh hai nahi. And now there is another application, jahan pe bahot hi less traffic hota hai. Maybe uh, koi data collection wala hai uh, application hai. किसी भी तरह का इतना है कि बहुत ही लेस ट्रैफिक उसके ऊपर आता है एंड इट्स ओके वो कोई अर्जेंसी भी नहीं होती डेमोग्राफिक डेटा चल रहा है लेट्स से हर कोई अपना डेटा अपडेट कर रहा है दैट दिस इज माय एज दिस इज माय फोन नंबर दिस इज माय एड्रेस ऑफिस का कोई डेटा है ठीक है तो मैं इसको आज करूँ या दो घंटे बाद करूँ इट डजेंट मैटर ठीक है बट जिन्होंने भी कर रखा है दैट डेटा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी सो वट विल आई सेलेक्ट देर ओवर देर माई फोकस विल बी ऑन आर बिकॉज अगर किसी ने हाफ एन आवर पहले भी अपना डेटा ये कर रखा है सो दैट इज दैट डेटा इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी सो इफ समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग विद माई स्टोरेज अकाउंट आई शुड बी एबल टू रिकवर दैट कम से कम उसमें लॉस होना चाहिए अपलीकेशन दो घंटे बाद आप होता है इट्स ओके आई डोंट माइंड इज इट क्लियर गाइज दिज आर जस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स रियल लाइफ में एकदम अलग चलते हैं वो नेक्स्ट लेवल के अपलीकेशन होते हैं दिस इज जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड सो इज इट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉन्ट्स टू आंसर What is the TLS version are you using in your environment? One point two is most uh, recommended by Microsoft. Right. Uh, have you ever worked on version two? No. One point two, and one uh, one is like for legacy applications we use one. And have you ever uh, worked certain... on version two? No. no right because there is no version 2 right you should be very confident about it okay guys less than a minute is left so let's rejoin do you guys need a break 
Yes, no, maybe guys. Let's take a break of five minutes because the recording will get converted. I'll see you at 14.45, same link. Okay. Thank you.